What's up my canalifiers and welcome back to Project Cars. Now this episode was supposed to be out on Saturday and I'm sorry about that but I had major issues. I was blue screening the whole day. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as I basically started the game the PC would just blue screen and it was uh, for you guys who know overclocking uh, I had auto overclock but I, I did a fixed overclock now. Uh, but I had over, uh, I had um, auto overclock at 4.6, and it, yeah, the V core was too low, so it would just, I don't know, it crashed basically. Uh, but that that's fixed now, um, and I was streaming on that Saturday for two hours, and then blue screen, so. Uh, it interrupted my stream and I figured, alright, I better just fix this and so I can stream, you know, Sunday. Uh, but then I had some issues with the internet on Sunday. <laughs> Yay! So wonderful. Oh my god, I love technology sometimes. Uh, yeah, uh, in my area there was there were some major issues with connectivity. Uh, I don't know what happened, but it's fixed now at least. Um... I haven't dropped out at all, so uh, I can upload today. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically my weekend. A lot of troubles, and uh, I got basically nothing done. Wonderful. So we're we're gonna do a race now on Nurburgring GP with the BMW M3 E30 Group A against 19 opponents. I think that's what I had in the set of Corsa, but I guess I'll correct myself if I was wrong somewhere. Um, and three laps, uh, light cloud, and 4 p.m.? Yeah, 4 p.m. Right. Let's do this. Obviously, um, same opponent difficulty, though I think the opponent difficulty uh, in these games are very different. Very different indeed. Right, so right away, these are much better and not as... What are you doing? What the fuck? They are much more aggressive. That's DTM for you though, that's DTM. This is so difficult, and this car is so loud! These are much more difficult. Fucking crazy, dude. This guy's all over you, put in the mirror. Time to cover the inside line and break as late as you can. Oh, you fucking bitch. You are tapping me, aren't you?
No, you don't. I got the inside line here. Oh, we both went off. Right, so opponent difficulty wise, uh, they are much more aggressive on project cars and much, much more precise as well. They are fucking expert drivers on the uh, project cars here. When they are sort of mediocre. Uh, on a set of Corsa. And they don't care if... <sighs> These are much more difficult. That's why I drive at 60. Because they are so aggressive at 80. But I guess maybe that's implemented to the car because it's a DTM or something, I don't know. But man, this is difficult. And I went in too fast. But you can see them swaying from side to side there. They are on the edge. My god. Oh shit. I, I fucked this up big time. And I'm in last position. Okay, I, I gotta at least get 19. Oh no! Well, I'm not getting 19. God, I might get 18 or 17 or something. Yay, I got 18! Okay. Uh, if we want to conclude this... Uh, okay. Um, Obviously, the AI on Project Cars is a lot, a lot more difficult. Um, my uh, my time there, I couldn't actually see it. That's something that I'm sort of not getting. Why, why I couldn't see my time, but maybe I'm just stupid and I don't know how to see it. Um, but I will check through the replay so I can play it like here, here or something over there. Yeah. Um, 
but if you want to if we're going to compare these two games it's uh i mean pretty course has the upper hand as far as simulation and uh, like ai difficulty and so on the ai in a sort of course is very it's very easy going very forgiving if you want to want to go that way uh, I know there's sort of fanboy thing where you're either at Pretty Corsa or Assetto Corsa. I'm more at Pretty Corsa than Assetto Corsa, but I think Assetto Corsa has the upper hand of allowing mods. That changes a lot of things uh, when it comes to a game. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see modding uh, on Pretty Corsa as well, but so far uh, I can't tell because it's not open. It's a closed, it's a closed game at the moment, uh, and they did delay the uh, launch as well. And it does have some issues that need to be fixed uh, before launch. So you guys who are waiting for this game, just wait. It's much easier. Uh, let's see, maybe we can sit here. You can see my my time here. Well, obviously, I want to see my time. You have no entry rate. What? Okay. Was that because I crashed every time? <laughs> but, yeah. Um, they need to fix a lot of stuff. Like, uh, for example, when I want to stream this game, I will spend 15 minutes just trying to make it work. I spent 20 minutes this Saturday when I was streaming this, just getting it to work. Um, because you can't just tab out and you know pick a game source but that's that might be due to it being a closed thing and they uh, haven't really fixed OBS for it yet um, but yeah that that's how it works which is terrible um, but yeah uh, handling wise I think uh, I gotta say product car feels more real uh, it has better force feedback and since I don't really have a I don't have a good steering wheel. I, it's decent, but you can't compare it to like the belt driven stuff that uh, Fnatic makes or the immensely realistic uh, Thrustmaster T500S or something whatever it's called um, but they have something called soft steering or something where you basically you don't need a dead zone but it sort of it sort of eliminates the dead zone you don't have any force feedback in the five or three percent that's there which means that you don't get the that stuff the jigger stutter thing but anyway uh, I want to see your comment down below. What do you think is the best game of the two? By looking at the way that I drive in the two games. Obviously I do cockpit in both games. I don't do the behind uh, behind the cars when I'm driving with a steering wheel. I don't see that being good at all. I see why some people do it. I mean it looks better in some ways. But honestly, if I'm going to do my best, I got to be in the cockpit as well. And it's, I mean, it just makes no sense. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked the video. And I will see you tomorrow with a set of Corsa. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a set of Corsa tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow.